the My Lord's Prayer will also change your consciousness dramatically. So uh, when you listen to these sounds, along with some understanding of the meaning, then there will be transformation. The mantra has to be received by, uh, received from the guru, then it will have directly, or should be authorized by him, that this is the person who can give it. So I don't want to go deep into it, uh, because it will take a long time. But I can say that every sound, every syllable within the My Lord's Prayer carries incredible power and is subjected to a lot of interpretations. They are important, but not as important as the sound itself. Not but as long as you can understand somewhat the meaning, it's okay. The sound that you find in the My Lord's Prayer is a, a boon, a. There is a secret in language, there's a secret in the sounds. That comes from right from the Judaic tradition. Abraham received those sounds from God Himself. And he was able to create everything without with the sounds, just as God created the world with the sounds. But then he was very fortunate enough to receive those sounds from God Himself so that he was able to create. Now, the Kabbalah tradition is based on that. Kabbalah tradition is a very, very powerful tradition. And uh, the key aspect of it is how you can get supernormal powers. Now to come back to the My Lord's Prayer, the My Lord's Prayer will also change your consciousness dramatically. And it is, you know, the meaning aspect of it is important, but not as important as the sound itself. Um, so uh, when you listen to these sounds, along with some understanding of the meaning, then there will be transformation. That's why it is very important to revive this original teaching of Jesus. Now, I want to use this opportunity to reflect on <clears throat> the Bible. The Bible is called the Word. Everything is the Word. And everybody who succeeded in making, you know, uh, whom have made great success in their evangelical career, who have been able to get private jets and everything, and I have done research on those uh, people who made it uh, big in the evangelical tradition. And there is a certain amount of dedication, not a certain amount, a lot of dedication to the text, to the words of Jesus. Because Jesus made it very clear that all that you need is power. I want to say it three times. Jesus wanted to give power. Jesus wanted to give power. Jesus wanted to give you power. Why? Without power, you are nothing. And what he wanted to give you was not just uh, a particular power like might or wealth or health, you know, or wisdom, but something that is complete power, which is omniscience, omnipotence, and omnipresence. The power that God and himself, Jesus himself, possessed, and that power 
is in the woods.